My wife and I have really enjoyed our reverse osmosis system we installed a little over a month ago. It's a whirlpool system, works really well, and uh, we're really happy with it. And uh, But uh, I love to drink iced tea, and uh, it's one of my favorite drinks. So luckily, 20 years or so ago, I switched to unsweet tea. That makes a big difference in health and the way I feel. But I got to thinking that all these ice cubes in here were unfiltered tap water. Our city water here is actually pretty clean. There's not too much in it anyway. But I thought it would be nice to have it connected to the reverse osmosis system. I wasn't sure if, if how well that would work, um, but because there's a little bit less pressure here than you have with normal tap water coming out of the reverse osmosis system. So I thought, well, let me give it a try. So I did. It really wasn't that hard to do. So what I'm going to do is uh, to show you what I did. Your particular situation may be different. We're on a crawl space we're digging out to make a uh, basement so I had good access under the house. And uh, But your situation could be different. So you just have to take that into consideration. But I'll just quickly show you what I did and, uh, and hopefully that'll be useful to you. Okay, we're underneath the house. You see that copper tube right there? That goes up to the ice maker and a refrigerator in the kitchen. The tubing comes around. I actually had it connecting with some fittings to this spot right here. That's how I got cold water to the ice maker. Well, to connect it to the RO unit, I disconnected that, ran the tubing up here, over this way towards the sink where the RO system is. If you look closely, you can see a, a valve right there. I use that as a coupler to add the extra copper tube in, and uh, also provides a shutoff. Now, if you see some of that, what looks like corrosion on the tube, that's because I disinfected all the copper tube and the fittings in Clorox and uh, to make sure there was nothing in it. And that's where the copper tubing goes through the floor up under the sink to the RO system. Just sealed all the holes that I drilled uh, with some uh, caulking and, uh, and that works pretty good. This is the reverse osmosis unit. That's the reservoir back there. But uh, all you need to look at for this ice maker connection, you need to find your, your line. In this case, is this blue 3 8 inch OD tubing that comes around and goes up to the uh, product water faucet on the sink. I put a T in here. This is a reducing T, so this is 3 8 inch compression, 3 8 inch compression. I use plastic barrels of inserts, and this is a 1 quarter inch compression that just connects to the refrigerator ice maker line. And I had to extend that a little bit to get it up through the uh, bottom of the cabinets down here. A little hard to see down at that point. And, uh, but it works good, no problems. This is a brass uh, 3 8 inch T, but it's different than the one I had in the video that I used. Um, I happen to have a reducing T that had a 3 8 3 8 and a quarter inch compression uh, fittings coming off of it. You can buy those things sometimes from the uh, hardware store, sometimes from building supplies, or you can use the order on Amazon too. But I just wanted to show you that uh, I was using a push type fitting like this. This is a shark bite. And with these things, you just push in, the, you got to have a nice square cut in. You just push it, that in, it locks it in. And you're supposed to be able to just push that back down and get it back out. Now, they make a special tool for that. I had a different brand I was using. I <clears throat> put all three sides in and it started leaking. I couldn't get it stopped leaking and I couldn't get it out. So I had to cut it off and I resorted to my faithful brass fittings. Now, if you're going to use these brass fittings with plastic tubing like that, I like to use these Delrin plastic compression sleeves, with a, usually with an insert. Now, these fittings are always designed according to the OD of the tubing. The inside diameter will vary depending on the wall thickness that you're working with. But I usually put an insert in, have these Delrin compression sleeves, and then just tighten that down. And the nice thing about this is, if you change your mind, it's not that hard to get it apart, get the sleeve off, and start over. So, just thought I'd share that. Um, normal 
uh, like these brass barrel type things like this, they uh, once you sway zoom down on there with a nut, they they're pretty well locked in. These plastic sleeves, they won't do that. You you can get them back off. Hope that helps and uh, good luck with your project. One thing my wife and I both really agree completely on is we both love good unsweet iced tea. With unsweet iced tea without sugar to mask it, the quality of the water that goes into it is at least as important as the tea itself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please like it, subscribe, and check out our other links. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you.